Welcome back to my garage. I'm Alex, by the way. There's a lot of people asking, so the name is Alex. Today we continue on the Brute Force concept build. And uh, I've received a liner from longtuning.de. Off camera I've already machined one of the case halves for the engine but I'm running really low on coolant and uh, this is a long operation and uh, I, I'm, I'm not taking chances of running out of coolant in the middle of it. But I think we can take our chance in uh, trying to machine some rough out some ports in this liner. First to the lathe to take it to dimension. Got the sleeve mounted in the tree jaw, which is the only check I own. And uh, by a little bit of fiddling, I've managed to get it within two hundredths of a millimeter, which is the equivalent of a little bit less than a thou. As long as the bore is straight, it should be good. And I'm going to hone it after I've installed it. My boring bar, my only boring bar, is skinny and uh, there's too much stick out. We'll do a test cut. The bore is 37.5 millimeters now, so there's quite a ways to go. There's room for, uh, for some trial and error here.
that failed miserably. And I know exactly why, because I rushed it. All that bubbling you saw when I was pouring, that's because the mold hadn't been burned out properly. I should have left the mold in the oven much longer. Also, I should have made some risers for each of the parts, not just those tiny vents. Vents. I have produced successful castings before, much more complicated parts, two-stroke cylinders. I burnt the mold out for days, but now I wanted things to go fast and I just used like 12 hours. Not enough for such a big, big flask. The investment casting process I'm using takes a lot of time. I'm going to try printing directly in PETG, which is resistant to the fuel and somewhat heat resistant. I think it's 80C max and uh, that might be enough. Worth a try, so let's try that. Like better to think I've spent all these years without owning a press. It's uh, <laughs> stupid, really. Now I own one and it's just perfect. It saved me so much work and it's just a much better way of doing things. The liner is in there. I even managed to get it almost perfectly aligned. And uh, there's a lot of matching to do now. Yeah. First print is a fail. I went with the Curious default settings for PETG, and uh, I think there's, I think under extrusion is the problem here. I might need to run hotter or something else. I'll do some research. Of course, I tried printing everything at once, and it's been printing for two days now. <laughs> So next try will be with just a small part to see, to, to hone in the, the settings before I do the actual print, because this is stupid. I've machined the bore for the bearing undersize on purpose. I want to measure and compare it with a known good size and machine it to be the same.
case halves are done, only missing threaded holes for the cylinder studs and the mounting uh, and the mounting studs for the for the intakes and uh, and transfers. And the cylinder fits. And these parts, well, the actual parts, will, will sit like this. And there will be a silicon hose in between there. Thank you, Andreas Carlson Lundin, Mjölby Vattenskjæring AB for making laser cutting the exhaust rotary valves and uh, the hubs or the things that will sandwich the valve to make this area stronger. Thank you! They look perfect. They're a little bow in them because of the heat, but I don't think that will be a problem when they're mounted in the in the in their case. I bought a Ignitec DC CDI P1 Race 2. I also bought a PVL coil and a wiring harness, a sensor and a trigger wheel. Bearings. Things are happening. Also, thank you Adrian Christiansen for this big box of uh, tooling for the mill. I especially like the old school Sandvik cutting data calculator. That's cool. Thank you. Okay, I'll just keep on working, make the rotary valve housings and uh, covers and... Uh... By the way, if you want t-shirts like these and other designs, they're available in my Teespring store. Or actually called Spring Now, my Spring store. Link in the description. And also, please support me on Patreon. It really helps. Expensive hobby. See you next time.